Good afternoon. Thank you, Vivian. First of all, I think our name is very important. The first speaker this afternoon, Kui Ben, has a good name. Kui Ben in Chinese means VIP. Or if you have a long name, what's the name of the least song? Uh, the Chinese name means uh, an independent movie. Or if you look at today's uh, title, The Beauty of Randomness. So name is very important. I haven't thought of what to say, really. I'm going to share with you my random thoughts. I have known Vivian for uh, almost 20 years. I am one of her four friends. She asked me to explain why I have 500,000 friends. I haven't thought of having 500,000 fans. This is something very random. All of you here are young people. You should not ask a person in his 50s why uh, he has 500,000 friends. Well, if we can have 10,000 friends a year, then that's why I have 500,000. Every person's Weibo Twitter or Facebook account is unique in its own way. Everybody uh, has some parts of his life in it, and uh, you cannot force other people to like you because um, I'm not uh, Raymond Lam uh, on Ikin Chang's Weibo. Uh, sometimes he wrote, I have a cough today. Then there will be a 1,500-odd uh, sharing of this post. I don't know why is it meaningful to share uh, Yi Kin Chang's cough. Well, I am William Low. Even if I suffer from coffee, nobody would care. When Vivian asked me this question, well, I find this a very good opportunity to review things that I have written on Weibo in the past two years. Well, was, this was from yesterday. Uh, actually, there are two Weibo's. I think actually there are three to six. So um, on the mainland, uh, these two are the most famous, Sina and Teng Xun. So here we have 480,000, and on that one, well, this one I have posted uh, 3,000 times. And for the last 493 posts, uh, they were the same. Because Tang Xuan asked me to write um, very late, then I asked them whether there is a button where I can share my messages on both Weibo. They say yes, so that's why they're the same. So for the first time, I wrote Weibo. Well, it's better for me to stand on this side. But look at the photo on the left hand side. It was written on the 8th of May 2010. Uh, we had a dinner, and then there was a friend of my age. Her name um, is Gu Gei Guan. You may not know her. She was a TV host. She was very famous. And she said that, well, are you playing Weibo? I said, I said what, Weibo? And she said that you are an IT person. Well, maybe you do not know, because I found that Navigator. So for Francis Wong, Vivian, they are the older generation, and we were together in all these. And she asked me if I were playing Weibo, and I said no. So this was the first time I played with Weibo. So you can see that there's no sharing and no comments, zero, because that was the first day I had no fan. I had just uh, those 12 fans that uh, with, with whom I was dining with. And then one week later, well, this is how I do things. I want to do th uh, things with all my effort. So I was not happy because uh, nobody was reading my blog. So on the 15th of May, I put this cute Hello Kitty picture on it because a lot of girls like Hello Kitty, and I succeeded. And after I posted Hello Kitty, there were 217 sharing and often 70 comments. And that's quite good. Now, if you are not a movie star, or if you are not Yao Chen, who is a famous Chinese model, or you are not Li Xifu, 
who's a an IT person um, that has worked for Microsoft. So if you are not them, then the only way to get more fans is like this. Well, just now I pressed the button. The latest um, market rate is that if you pay $3, you can get 1,000 fans. And we call them vampire fans because um, they do not do anything. They do not share or comment. So for this Hello Kitty, I think it really worked. And then maybe if I put uh, photos of my handsome friends on my Weibo, then maybe it, would, it can attract some fans. So that's what I did. And then I took a picture with Andy Lau. Because Andy Lau can actually be the CEO of Hong Kong. So you would find it very interesting where the lower part is cut because when I did this, I used my iPhone. And there were over 400 sharing. That's very good because for the number of fans at that time, um, there were just uh, tens of thousands. So it was quite good. So on this side, now I'll tell you how to attract fans. So here you see Andy Lau. How come nobody is reading it? Because on that side, I've written the name Zheng Gaoing and Wang Ziwa. This side, I just wrote Hua Zai. Because I had only a few fans. And at that time, at that time I only had 40 or 50,000 fans. So here, only 20 to 30 people read it. But for other people who loved Hua Zai, they didn't read my micro blog because they didn't search the name Hua Zai, they searched Lao Da Hua. So the name you use is important. If you want your blogs to be shared among a lot of people, you have to write names that uh, people will search for. Here, you should also put down it, Zheng Gaoing, then Zheng Gaoing's fans and they're going himself may share it and then I thought that um, how can I make more people respond to my micro blog so I try to find the right content uh, for example maybe it's about my uh, thought of love and life etc so on the left hand side well, Jen Xiuhan is my friend. She's a novelist, and she had this new book about love. She said that all the moments would become the past, all the things that are past is not time, but people. So these are the poetic phrases that are so much loved by mainlanders. So this time around, I had over 3,500 sharings. And here is my view on life. So when you write, there is a certain skill. Here you say, I say that, do you know, uh, rest doesn't mean that you are not doing anything. Now on a sunny uh, summer afternoon, etc. So when you write, do you know that, then people would feel that you are actually talking to them. And this time around, I, the word you means is a female you. So among the 500,000 fans, I have 380,000 of them are female. So when I use this female you, um, it really attracted their eyes, although my life didn't like it. So I tried different things. I even tried Winnie the Pooh. Of course, some were real. Well, this time around, I was watching uh, Winnie the Pooh with my son. And Winnie the Pooh said that if well, one day we are no longer here, because this is like uh, Winnie the Pooh talking to Piglet, and my son says that, well, Daddy, you'll always be in my mind. So this is really sentimental. And people would really uh, share this kind of feeling. And here it says, how do you spell love? Here you say that you don't spell it, you fill it. So uh, these are some trivial things that we encounter in our daily lives. Maybe on a certain day you read a book and something touches you, and then you share with, share with other people. Of course, there are things that are interesting as well. So for microblogging or for Twitter, there's something interesting, that is, 
it makes you feel more about your environment, and you can always share this kind of feelings with people. I think a lot of people have used baby shampoo, right? Well, why you use baby shampoo? Because there will be no more tears. So I change it. I say that if love is like a baby shampoo, I'm stating no more tears, then everybody will be happy. So let us not talk too much about love. Now, just now I interacted with Zhang Xiuhan, the novelist, and that was very helpful. And in March 2011, I wrote this. I say that in a person's life, how many people can really enter your life? Actually, a friend. Um, had tea with me and asked me this question because he just loved his love. And after that, I wrote this. And on that afternoon, Michelle Lee well, picked this up and she added. She says, that, what do you learn from your footprints? Actually, I don't really understand what she meant. However, because it's written by Michelle Lee, then it's very different. I think there were over 2,000 sharings because she was famous. And I've also written a lot of sentimental things. So if you want to write things that are touching, you really have to touch yourself first. Otherwise, you really cannot touch other people. And microblogging has also given me opportunities to capture some things. For example, this is the first time my son I kept a dog, and it was the first car accident that I had. It was June 2011. It was in Changzhou in China. And I was like uh, doing a live reporting from there. Uh, at 8.30, I had this accident. And then at 11, I was microblogging because at uh, that time, still nobody came to save me. And a lot of people were actually faster than the police. And last thing I want to say that, well, this was my last uh, microblog. Now, if you want to strike the cause of other people, you really have to make it simple, but it must be touching and moving. I can't tell you how you can attract 500,000 fans, but it was what I wrote a few days ago. What's the name of this movie? That, um, that's this little house uh, flying in the sky. That's called Up, right? So there were these four scenes. It's he says, I will be with you till the end. He says that till the end, well, maybe it's too far away. Is your heart too soft, or it depends on the destiny? And Sri K picked this up, and there were more than 3,000 sharings in total. At the end of the day, uh, do people read your micro blogs? I think, well, first of all, you have to be happy when you write the blogs. Thank you.